What is up guys, we're back some more Hogwarts Legacy and we're gonna be doing something like these side quests here. But we're here to talk to Poppy for uh like the, the little I dragon egg waiting, quest. Did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in Plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Might as well. Should we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. You're making this sound simple, but... Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No, it belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. Well then. Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. All right, let's go. There she is, above us. She did make it home safe. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Well, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. I wonder how many they brought to capture. At least ten, usually. Eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well, and from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. How lucky for okay. us. <laughs> Watch your step. Oh. Now she thinks about that. <laughs> uh. 
Oh. Bob to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. Quiet, what was that? Dragon, probably. Okay, that's been like so clutch. Okay. So if you're ever doing this quest, get that that little teleportation dodge. <laughs> that was a pretty damn clutch. Why is every bridge here broken? I mean, you said it's clever, so it probably broke all the bridges so people couldn't get up here. Now, if we get to return her, we can hopefully get it out without too much fuss. Okay. <laughs> she almost got to touch a dragon. That's pretty badass. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. <laughs> That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Okay, say less. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. Okay. What did you realize, girl? How could I have been so blind? I'm truly all 
by what we've accomplished, the final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spint Witches when you can. Will do. I beg oh. your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Is everything all right? It's my dear friend, Hazel. Hazel? Yeah, she doesn't like to leave the forest, so I... Well, the last time I saw Hazel, loyal friend that she is, oh... I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to... I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and... I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn. Oh, you've a good... I don't know precisely where she is. And although I haven't been able to brush her late... I just skipped through that because uh, a lot of these side quests like, are pretty unimportant. When it comes down to that dialogue. So we'll get this broom upgrade and then we'll move on to the uh, the next like little side quest slash main story thing. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. Uh, oh, hello okay. again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. How much is As this always, thing? I have a special Don't. prize for you. That thing costs seventy-five hundred gold. I don't, I don't have enough Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. We'll go all the way out here to do that little thing for Sebastian. I mean, I, I guarantee we get a Vodka Dabra from this dude. This is like where we've been learning all our curses is from doing like his side quest stuff. So fingers crossed that uh, as we go through more of these, we'll get closer and closer to it. I haven't looked up any guys, and I know I'm taking like my sweet time playing this game, but Sebastian, gotta enjoy the a game, guys. Relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin spell. That's not what she asked, though. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Did he just interrupt Anne's me? Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. That's all that was, was a, a little dialogue? But all right. Guess we'll go do uh, the next quest, which is with uh, Natty. Oh. 
doesn't get any more cosy than Hogsmeade. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, I can't even fast travel. Great. They did that on purpose. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined, repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No, I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Yep, yeah, it's too late. To find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. So Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check that. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's Mr. Dibble. May I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. 
I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. You know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. Uh -oh. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. Don't tell me he was like blackmailing you. higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Oops. Do not mean to pet the cat. Hmm. Agabus Philbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Looking like a hobo. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, Perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... Uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Anyone 
just not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her. <laughs> I wonder what Merlin would think of that. he must be around here somewhere. Wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. They did all that instead of just... Okay. Whatever. That doesn't make sense to me. We went through that entire place just to come down here. Can't just fight them now. Look out for the girl's friend if they're dark enough to try to come through with her. Yep, sadly, uh, I am. So we're on, me lads. I don't trust Ranrock, I'll tell you that. You'll tell them that's the first chance he gets. Revenue. Maybe we'll find the sweet little dragon. Oh, Blythe, I'm great. 
nonetheless, we have good spoils for our efforts. And the boss. Oi, oi, oi. We should speak to her again. Perhaps she'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Ah, she's determined to say nothing. The boss will deal with her when he arrives. The witch in Felgrad. I was surprised how much jewelry. Why the mouse round here? Can't say I mind. It's a camera for Poems that was taken from Agabus Felbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. <laughs> Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. So I guess we're keeping it?
Can't even go in there, okay. Oh well, back to saving, uh, Natty. Natty must be here somewhere. Revelio. I knew you would realize I had left my one for you. Speak to Mr. Hello, Hamora. He will tell you what to do. Here's your wand, bro. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Revelio. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. No problem, no problem. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I mean, I would have rather had it with us. Is this just telling us to run straight through to get out? Yeah, yeah, we're on it, we're on it. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. But you take it too long. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. He's but working with Harlow. I'm now. sure of it. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon.
food quest available. They actually caught back quick. But she's far, so guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode off right here, but don't worry, there's going to be more episodes to come. But make sure you leave a like for the video, it helps out the video a lot, and also subscribe to the channel if you've yet to subscribe. But with that said, stay sharp guys, later.